Hey there, this is instructions on how to use my kitchen inventory checklist. Uh, this spreadsheet is made for those of you who want to keep track of all the items that you have in your kitchen and know when to restock. Okay, so at the top we have um, a title of the favorite grocery store. You can put whatever you want. Uh, the next one is the gro the next grocery trip. So you can just double click in the cell and you can just choose whatever date that is your next grocery trip. Uh, today's date, that would be today. Double click in there. And to change that store, you can just um, double click in there and just write it. Okay, so I've got everything organized by section. So we have a pantry section, we have a spices section, a freezer section. We have fruits and veggies, snacks, drinks, refrigerator, condiments, paper, and packaging. And then down at the bottom, we've got some notes and a shopping list. So just know that this is a fully editable uh, inventory checklist. So if you want to totally change everything and all the categories and do your own categories, you're more than welcome to. However, it works for your own home. So what you would do if you want to change the category to something different is you would double click in the cell. So instead of pantry, say you wanted to say that it was grains. Uh, you can just have it that way. So you can put all the grains in this section. And so you could double click in here and then, you know, type in whatever the item is. Double click, you could highlight, and then you can put in um, pasta, whatever, whatever you would like it to be. So I'm gonna change it back to pantry. Okay, so um, say we have spaghetti, we have a quantity of two available, so you can just double click in there and then just write the number in there. You can write in zero if you're out. All right, and then the amount, you can say it's in stock, low or none. So I have none in stock. And then you can put an expiration date as well. Um, and then put that in there. Or you can manually type it in. You can just put in 5, 25, 30, that kind of thing. If you don't want an expiration date at all, say if it's honey, just delete it out. And that'll be fine. Okay, so, and then here's the next section of spices. and You've got, say, oregano here. You've got a quantity of one, low stock, expiration date. And then if you have it in stock and if you've got it all, everything that you need, you can just check it off like that and it will strike it through for you. Then you've got categories for fruit and veggies, snacks, drinks. So if you wanted to make that a completely different, if you wanted a category just for baby items, you could just, you know, write baby here. And then, you know, you put in formula, baby food, whatever you want to put in is fine. Okay, and then we will go down to the bottom. I've got a place for notes. So if you wanted to, to make notes about meal prep, containers um, arriving Monday, whatever you want to write. And then your shopping list here, you just would type in whatever you would like and then check it off as you get it. Now, if you actually physically wanted to print this out, my, my biggest suggestion to you would be uncheck the boxes like this and then go to file, print, and then it'll say print current sheet and then you could do fit to page and do portrait so it's going to fit everything all on one page for you so you can go in and check everything off and then add this you know the information to your spreadsheet later uh, you could also uh, fit to width you do landscape and fit to width and then that way it'll do it a little bit better If you did 100%, that's what it would look like. So it'd probably do better if it would fit to page. And that way you could just print it out. So that's how to print that out. If you wanted to change your colors, you're welcome to do that. Um, so what you would do is just highlight here and go into this little fill color box and then just change the color. If you wanted to change the colors there, you would just do it like that. Change it ink to red however you wanted to do that. Uh, you would have to highlight the little boxes here and then hit the text color and then change it to the red there. So that would change it. 
So um, that is it. I'm going to undo this and make it go back to my pretty pink. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to purchase this spreadsheet. Click on the link in the description below and uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Have a good day.